Well, what can I say? It's been a great day. I am grateful to be able to walk, talk, smell, taste, hear, and make it through the day. And to be able to appreciate the day. Not just from a professional perspective, but from a personal perspective. Because I tend to feel today that I had a chance to appreciate the clouds and the sky and the trees. And just when I'm driving, I put the windows down and I feel so relaxed and at peace with myself that there is no fear. There is no worry. There is no anxiety. Because I already have a feeling of understanding that anything that's going to happen is happening for a reason. And it's based upon the fact that before I was even conceived, it was already done. So once I go through that process of understanding it that way, I'm willing to welcome all comers of life. And the battles of life that come are different. And I understand that. And it's interesting how being in this type of business where you are working to help people, inspire, um, hopefully get people to, out of a rut, a mental rut or a mental block of themselves that you help them feel a little bit different about themselves. Not to say I'm going to quote unquote fix or make people feel like they're 100% better, but it's always about servant leadership. And this is the way how I serve. And one of the ways of serving this way of, that I feel that's very comfortable and soothing for me is being able to know that my contributions in my video blogs or in my written blogs are all about serving people. And I know that in this process of going through serving, there's always going to be people who are going to be critics that will always find ways to take shots at me uh, around my content of what I'm talking about. I should do this or I'll go here or do that. And that's okay. I appreciate my feedback and I appreciate all the things that come with that. But one of the things that I've learned over time, especially playing sports, was that when you have a vision and you have a purpose of what you're trying to achieve and go after, if people who are not beside you, walking with you through that process, and as you're going through that process, and that are positive, if they're none of those things, they go behind you. And when they're behind you, you don't worry about what's behind you, you only worry about what's in front of you. That is the key to staying focused on your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, is always looking at what's ahead. Because once you take that turn back, you acknowledge what's back there, and you know what ends up happening? Something pulls you back slowly, slowly. And then what comes out of it is your emotion, your frustration, your anger, trying to prove your worth, your value. And you don't want to get yourself caught up into that. What you want to do is appreciate criticism, bring, look at what the value of the criticism is. Even if it's in a negative content, it doesn't matter. Still appreciate it, acknowledge it, and thank them for it. Because I thank every one of my critics, regardless of what their, their comments are. But I realize that the more I am moving forward, the more critics I'm going to have. Just like the more you're going to fail, then, then you achieve is a part of the process of life. And you have to accept it. Critics are going to come just like failures are going to come. And you'll have more critics than you'll have people who embrace you and want to uplift you. Because more or less, what people like to see today is breaking people down. They want to break them down to the point on their level if they see that they're doing something that is helping the world, helping themselves, and it, it's adding value. Most people want to be able to break that down. And, and if they're not doing the same in a different way or shape or form, and they're just miserable and bitter, they want to try to pull you down to their level. It's like a crab in the bucket. So be aware of the crabs. Be aware of the negative criticism, but also be aware of how you process it. And then look what's in front of you, not what's behind you. Because what's behind you, you don't have to acknowledge anymore. You've left it. You've dropped it off. Now it's time to keep on keeping on this way. Have a great day.